What's up, everybody? Big Hurt, getting down with Fresh Out, and you tune in to another episode of Prison Talk. Man, you guys have been asking, so we he, we have here a guest that has some hella five stories, and uh, the shit ain't no joke, man. You guys think prison is a place that gives you uh, accolades or status. Who's ever selling that to you is selling you some bullshit. Um, I'm here with OG Silverback, and um, he got some real shit to tell you, man, about his experience in the state penitentiary system, and it's nothing that you should want to ever experience. Um, OG Silverback, man, I know we were chopping it up, man, and you know, there, you know, you went through a lot and you've seen a lot, but uh, you know, having dealt with that system, what is one of the the craziest things that you said you had to deal with? And I know you said you had to deal with you know quite a few different situations because yeah. of the mentalities in there. But uh, you know, ex expound on one of them for our, our listeners. Okay, guys. Uh I just want to keep it real with you because I don't want anybody to experience what I've experienced. But the whole thing about the California penal system, like the guards aren't your friends, the warrants not your, you ain't got no friends, right? So I walk up in there, Big Herc, you know, I'm not a gang member. No, I'm not even from here, man. So I got level four points. And in uh, New Folsom, you got two guys to a cell. Like before, back east, level four, you by yourself. Mm -hmm. Out here in California, you got two dudes and two grown men in the cell, six by eight, you know what I mean? You could touch the, the walls and stuff. And you got the grown man, the toilet's right there, the sink's right there. And and New Folsom, they got dudes that got double life and triple life and natural life. Like, I don't know the difference, but you ain't never getting out. Yeah, if you get one life, you still got yeah, you, you get. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So then I'm coming in there. I got 26 years. And I'm, I'm not going to I'm not gonna lie to you, Big Hurt. I would use the English language in such a way like a hat life. I never said a hat life. They go, how much time you got, homie? Oh, I got so much time that father time don't even count. Like, I would use parables <laughs> like that. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, know yeah. what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to lie because yeah, yeah. the clerk can check. Throw the just, Moses you know, trick on Yeah, I just throw a Moses <laughs> trick. So I got a, I got a celly, man. He's got... He got double life, and I'll never forget this dude. His name was Chocolate Thunder, Big Hurt. Chocolate Thunder? Yeah, this dude was about six foot eight, bro. Damn. About 300 pounds, like ripped, bro. He's just one of these natural phenomenons of men, just 26 inch swole, right? Darker than you, man. Chocolate Thunder. And so we in the cell, man, my first night there. And you know how they did? They locked the door. Lights out! And Chocolate Thunder's sitting there. And I'm sitting there, you know, I'm just trying to fill dude out. And he goes, you know, you sure are a pretty high yellow man. I go, man, what does that mean? You're a pretty man. I said, well, why are you telling me that? Because I'm going up in your butthole. And I was like, I'm not gay, dude. <laughs> I'm not yeah, gay. That's not a request, said, my dude. No. And he said, dude, I'm going up in your butthole. I'm just telling you to get it ready. And he had the Vaseline, right? I said, no, nah, I'm, I'm not gay. He said, dude, you don't understand. I got double life, man. You're the closest thing to a fine female I'm ever going to see. So I'm going up in your butt. So we can do it the easy way or the hard way. And I'm thinking Big Hurt. Well, ain't no easy way. I guess I ain't having no man like go up in me, homie. Yeah. I ain't built for that, man. Yeah. So I told him. I said, hey, Chocolate Thunder. Like, He's a big dude. I said, check this out, man. You're a big, squall dude. But one thing I do know for sure, I will give my life to make sure you don't go up in my butt. He said, man, I've heard that before, man. When I knock a dude out and I'm going up in him, he wakes up. I knock him out again. I said, yeah, but me, man. You're going to have to kill me, man, because you know what I mean? Today's a good day to die. And he looked in my eyes, Big Herc, and he was like, next day I got a cell change, man. Damn. Yeah. Because I, was, I wasn't playing that. Yeah, man. yeah, yeah, yeah. I wasn't playing that. So he kind of felt my energy, you know what I'm saying? Plus maybe the fact that, you know what I mean, on the yard, like before I got classified, because when you get to level four Folsom Prison, you go to, uh, I think it's called classification. And then they decide where they're gonna if there's an opening in the cells, right? So all through classification, I like to practice martial arts. That's my religion, you know. Some people believe in Jesus. I just believe in martial. I'm practicing my martial arts. I'd be on the yard practicing martial arts. So he kind of knew I had some training and just I guess my conviction because mm -hmm. I told him I'm gonna give my life before I let you do that, man. So then he kind of felt me out, man. I didn't sleep that night, by the way. Yeah, you know yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah. But the next yeah. day I got a I got a cell change because I guess lifers. They got pulled in the prison. They can be like, I don't want that dude in my cell. So they switched me to some other cell. You know what I mean? So you can only imagine how many times he done tried to do oh, that. Oh, dude, he, man, there's stories of him just going up and dudes' buttholes, man. And then they'll just be turned out, man. Like, you know, no offense. I'm not going to say any names on your channel. But I hear dudes talking about, oh, there's no rape in prison. And it don't roll. I don't know what prisons they've been to. The prisons I've been to, they taking buttholes, man. Yeah, there's flaming homosexuals there. But you got to pay for them. You got to be a shock car. Like, if there's a... 
a dude, like, let's say he's a feminine looking dude and he's pretty and he's a homosexual for real, the shot callers get them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And just so you know, big hurt. Yeah. yeah. Just so you know, the dudes is murderers and gangsters and they're hard on the street. And I'm not judging them. Some of them in there, they, they, they rationalize their time. Well, you know, there's no pussy around, so therefore, or go I, instead of jacking off, I'm going to go up in his butthole. But the way I was raised, homie, if, 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 even if you're the stud, you're still gay. Yeah, exactly. exactly. I'm not gay. I'm yeah. not judging yeah. gay people. I'm just saying I ain't doing that. So these shot callers and hardcore killers and gangsters, they want to go up in buttholes while they on the, when they in prison. You see them on the street and they going up in their girl. You be like, oh man, that ain't, that ain't right, man. Nah. And you know what? It, it's I was fortunate enough when I was in prison. I didn't see none of that. Yeah. I heard stories. Yeah, yeah. Like you said, dudes, uh, you know, walk around some tight pants on. Nobody told them. Right. And dudes like. Dude, he still got those same type pants on and laundry after a couple days. <laughs> oh, he with the business. He's with the like business. Like you said, dudes will. You know what I mean? The dudes told me one time they, they seen a dude like that and uh, some dude ran up in a cell. Yeah. And they stabbed him enough to where he couldn't move and yeah. they all raped him. Yeah. So they don't kill him, but they raped right. him. Right. And they, and they, dude, he was, dude, horrible. And that's why horrible, another man. thing, Big Herc, like, you know, everything in prison is a test. So let's say we go to breakfast and they're still serving oatmeal that day with some bacon and some dried up toast with with mold on it, and the dude goes, AOG, you gonna eat your bacon. I would, they give you a spork, and, and yep, the prison yep. they don't give you, so I take my spork, man, and I just shove it in the dude's eyeball. He goes, who are you to ask me about my bacon, man? That's yeah, a you, test. Why, why are you looking at my food? You testing me, man, yeah. because if you give a dude your bacon, everybody in prison is watching you. That's right, that's Everybody right, in prison is right, watching right. so to you guys out there in YouTube land, like, oh, it's just some bacon, man. No, it's a test. It's a test, it's just dude, in compliance, is this dude easily well, it's, to it's, manipulate? You know, it's funny you said that because I worked on a toast crew, but the homie from 60s hooked me up because, you know, you get jobs like that because you know somebody. So you get up early, you get your job done, you're out. Yeah. So those are special jobs. Right, right. You can't just get that job because if, if dudes don't like you, you're not going to do toast. Right. And so people do toast, and we have containers of toast. But when certain dudes, when you're tied in, <laughs> they get fresh right, toast. Yeah, right. So we're like, hey, you, they wait, and you go through certain lines. Right. This line, you go over here. This line, you go over here. And like, you know, certain guards know like, I remember going over here, getting the burger, and then I double back over here. Right. And the guards see you over there, um, but he knows if you're cool, you know what I'm saying? he lets you go through and get double burgers. Right. But if you don't, get your fucking ass off the right, line. Right, I right, right. Hey, get yeah. up out of there. Right, you right. like, damn, you know what I yeah. mean? So, and then so a lot of different things people don't know, and it's serious. Like I was just talking to a dude yesterday. There's tables. Latin Kings, Vice yeah. Lords. Uh, uh, maybe it, it maybe it's the woods over here. You can't walk through the middle. Nah, man. You got to walk around Round to wherever to, yeah. you're sitting at. Right. There, maybe your table's up here. You're not cutting through. No, nah, you're going through. around. You cut through the Latin Kings table. No, nah. like, dude, did he just cut through here? No, nah, bro, they gonna stab dude, they you gonna, up, man. That that right there when they hit the yard. Yeah. You'll just be walking and, and then you just boom, boom, boom. That's it. Yeah. For you cutting through their table. Yeah. Or if you sit at a dude's seat. No. Nah. You didn't know that was his seat. No. Nah. And he comes to the table. Yeah. And you're sitting in the seat. Nah, this man. dude got life. When next time he see you, he's gonna stick you. Yeah. It's that serious. Yeah. This yeah. shit is not no joke, man. Right. People think it's a joke, man. It ain't no joke. And some dudes will set you up. Oh man, go ahead and sit right here, homie. <laughs> you see it? And they're like, dude comes like, oh man, what are you doing? Right. You know what I mean? He set you up because now, dude, you got an enemy. Yep. So now this dude, you know, or you seen it when you go to commissary, they see you carry two bags. Oh, that dude got dude be jacking dudes in the commissary waiting. They didn't even have that's not even their commissary day, they in there. No, nah, but Jack this dudes. I was telling my homie just the other day. I'm going to the commissary, it's the gun, you know, the, the guard at the gun tower, the commissary, right? And you fill out your little thing. Mm -hmm. And these two crips come up to me and go, hey cuz, we know you ain't feeling like give me some zoom zooms and mam mams, give me some tobacco. And I was like, dude, my mama sent me this money. Man, if you don't man, if you don't get that on the commissary list, man, you're gonna have problems. So when I go up to the commissary, when there's a guard right there, correctional officer, yeah. you know what I said? Hey, you see those two dudes back there? They're trying to jack me. You know what he said? Man, you better get it the fuck up out of my face. <laughs> I, said, I said, no, you ain't hear what I'm saying. They're going to jack me. He said, you didn't hear what I'm saying. Get the fuck out of the line. Yeah, yeah. So then when I went up there, I had to do my Fing Fong stuff on him because, hey, homie, where's the cigarettes, man? And when the dude's jaw was open, I just had to hit him, Big Kirk, because you know when the jaw's open, yeah. just you know, let him talk to the flappy. Yeah, yeah. hit him, and then that's what I like about prison. Yeah. You just hit a dude, and then everybody down, dude, 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 so yeah. you ain't really getting yeah, racked yeah, yeah, yeah. like in the movies. Yeah, man. get off quick. Yeah, get off quick, yeah. right? So I was like, yeah, but I told him, hey, they're trying to jack me. Y'all ain't want to know I was telling yeah. Hey, they're trying to jack me. <laughs> <laughs> you better. 
Guys, you don't get your ass up out of here. And then yeah. when I went to the shoe, the warden, no, the warden said, well, there was an officer right there. Why didn't you tell him? I did. I did tell him. Did you write a form 602? I didn't have a 602. You write right. form 602. Yeah, no, it's a form man. in the state, Herc. You yeah, gotta, no. You I got a like grievance. That's a grievance. Yeah, a grievance. Man, man, ain't no, I tell people, man, ain't no, ain't no, that, it, it, it don't work. Yeah. It don't work, man. When you got a problem with a dude, you got to handle it. Yeah. You got to handle it, man. If a dude is with that bullshit, you got to handle it. Right. You know, people think, I said, it's like, it's like going to the shower. I told a dude, if anybody snaps something at you, you want. No. You, it's getting down. Yeah. Because he playing you. Yes, thank you. In he front of everybody. In front of everybody. He played you. Yeah. Or if a dude comes, as far as on the way to the shower, and he said. Or man, stand too close to you in the shower. Like, man, what? Yeah. Yeah, it ain't none uh, of that. It ain't yeah. none of that, man. It's a lot of little shit that dudes are try to see if they can somehow get over on you. Right, that's you know all I, mean? I was saying, man. You come from commissary, dude come right to your room, hanging out, he watching, counting your food. Yeah, man. You know, or some yeah. weird shit like that. Yeah. Or motherfucker come from the shower and he sit on your bunk and this motherfucker got to, you know, act like he got a towel. Man, nah, look, man. man, you get knocked the fuck out. Yeah, no, I ain't even talking, man. Yeah, you know? so all that stuff, those are the key things that you got to recognize. So, you know... I used to tell dudes, like, dude, say, hey, man, you know that dude got, like, life, right? Boom, boom, boom. And he, you know, hey, Big Kirk, I'm talking, hey, man, I ain't got nothing to haunt you about. You know, you keep trying to holler at you some weirdo shit. Because then you said, you, you seen, oh, Big Kirk, you used to do porn on the street. Yeah, I did porn, but you ain't getting out. So what do you, what do you, what do you ask? I know, exactly. So if you, if you get too close, I'm, a, I'm a, we're going to get out. Yeah. After that, he leave you alone. But right. dude's looking like, oh, Big Kirk. But he's Kirk. checking you. See, he's, he's checking, checking you. Oh, man, I heard, because I didn't tell nobody I was in the porn. And one of the dudes, oh, man, Big OG, like, oh, man, I heard you know. Oh man, but one dude's cool. He's like, if you need any, look, I got all the shanks on the yard. If you need nice. anything, I got you. Nice. You know what I mean? So he had my back. Yeah, yeah. And then one dude, you know, oh man, big hurt. You did porn? Yeah, I did porn, nigga. Oh, you did, yeah, nigga, I did porn. You see oh, how you okay. changed your face right okay. there? Like, yeah, what I said, about yeah. I said, yeah, man. He's like, oh, okay, okay. Yeah. You no, let you let him know. You let him know. Yeah. Cause they on some weird shit. Thank and you. They're like, what are you in here for? Credit card? Nah, nigga, bank robbery. <laughs> What a strap, nigga. Did you, did you have a note? Nah, a gun. <laughs> yeah. Hostile takeover. Yeah. High speed chase. Right. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's All a right. whole different yeah, level. Yeah, you, you, you ain't no, because I think you poor, you saw, yeah. you want some weirdo Look, shit. Look, you had a note. Pretty please, give, hand over the money, please. Yes, <laughs> here's the note. Yes. No, I'm a, it, it was, you know, I, w- I was about that. Yeah, it wasn't no, wasn't no joke out there. Yeah, so man. you got to let, there's a lot of things, body length, different things. And like you said, man, dudes are like, you know, you want a thunder, we can go to mop closet. You know, it's, it's the same. It ain't no talk. It ain't no, let's, let's handle it. So people think it's, it's a lot of, and if you ain't familiar with this, you get played into a cold situation. Right. You walk right into a setup. Because you're ignorant, right? You're ignorant to the... You have popping. no street sense. Yeah. And yeah. you don't need, need, and these guys are master... Manipulated. body language. Yeah. And you've seen dudes like you've talked about before, like guards bringing in shit. Yeah. I knew dudes, like you said, got the guards, you know, they might have a bra, they fucking her in a lot, in a... In a, in a room and, and during count time in a, in a window time and there's all kind of shit going on yeah. you know dude, this dude the fucking guards up in there and female guard there oh and, hell yeah and some dudes you know like a mother partner in the state said they some dudes on some gum time so it's all kind of weird shit going on in the pen yeah, yeah. so man you guys uh we, we try to keep you guys laced up man og silverback big herc prison talk